Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies and like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding my company and also SQL accounting system. In today's lesson, I'll go to SQL financial accounting system purchasing module. In purchasing, you can see there are a few transactions that you can key in. The flow is start with purchase request if you have any. Purchase request means before you send a purchase order to your supplier, your internal purchaser may need to send a purchase request to the purchasing manager to get the approval. Then you transfer to a purchase order to send to your supplier. Your supplier will deliver the goods and their delivery order will be your good receipt. After you receive the good, you will get the purchase invoice from your supplier. Purchase debit is a document where your supplier undercharge you. He want to charge you back without sending an invoice, then he send a debit note. Purchase return is a document where you want to return certain goods back to your supplier. Cash purchase is you want to make a purchase and make the payment directly, whether with cash or check. I'll start with purchase request. It is exactly the same as what we have learned in sales module. So basically, you click that new, select your supplier, as it says. Remember, when I type MA, the company will come up is because company is highlighted. In any case, when you key in, the name is not exist. It's because your tab is at other column, maybe currency. What you need to do is just click at the tab key at your keyboard tab and it will return back to your company name. Exist. The same thing apply to your item code. So I just type the item code, then you can key in your quantity. Remember, whenever you see the column, you can do something called right click any column header. You can do a field chooser. That means you're folding out certain fields that are available. Normally it's more description. Then you can key whatever you want. Save the change, yes. Remember, at any point of time, if you already uh, drag off field chooser, you must go to grid out, save the out, give a name, maybe D, stand for default, click at set this layout as default layout, save. Then go out, come in again, the column that you drag will not disappear. Okay, let's make it two items. You can change the price at any point of time. Save. To print out the purchase request, very simple. Just click the preview button. Select the format that you like. Normally it's simple because it's easier for you to customize. So you get your choice request. You can always sign the format yourself. If you need to email out this requisition, what you need to do is just click the print button, click at print to file. So the format you want, normally it's PDF file. Select the destination you want to save, then save. So you get your requisition and you can email out directly without scanning. So this is how to do a purchase request in SQL accounting system. In tomorrow's lesson, I'll continue with purchase order. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Thank you.